This step is so important because a lot of the times people know what they wanna do, but they're not exactly sure how to put it out there or what people will be receptive to. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneurs where I give you the keys you need to succeed. Today we are talking about my favorite subject, how to take your passion and turn it into a profitable business. Here are the five steps that I used to be successful when turning my passion into a profitable business. Starting a business can be very hard. There are so many moving components. I know when I first started my business, there were so many things to figure out I had no idea about and I had to try to figure it out on my own. All I wanted to do was take something that I absolutely loved and turn it into a profitable business. I wish I had the guidance at the time to know what was important, what things to focus on, what was gonna make me money, and what to not even waste time on. I'm about to give you an outline of the five steps that I wish I had to take my passion and turn it into a profitable business. These steps also coincide with the five modules in my course, Passion to Profit, available online. Number one, passion. What are you passionate about? What do you absolutely love to do? What can you see yourself doing and never getting tired of it? What do people come to you for? What are your strengths? These are all questions that you can ask yourself to figure out what your passion is and what you can turn into a business. In this step, you also want to outline your business and what will make your business thrive, such as the goals, the values, and the mission that you will have every day as you run your business. This step is where we also outline a business plan. I know a business plan may sound like a pain to do, but I can help you do it effectively and efficiently so that your business can thrive. The next step is audience. Who are you talking to? Who are you gonna market to? What is your client avatar? You already know what I say. If you're talking to everyone, you're talking to no one. People always say, I'm gonna market to whoever will buy my product. And think about it, if you have a product and it's not specifically for you, you're not going to get it. So you have to nail down who your audience is, who you're talking to, and who you're gonna be marketing to to figure out the best way to grow your business. In this step, we also evaluate the platforms and your touch points, as well as your client transformation. The third step is your offer. During this step, you're gonna build the perfect offer based on your client avatar and your passion. This is also where you outline your pricing and your profitability, as well as the tools that you need to upsell and to build brand loyalty. This step is so important because a lot of the times people know what they wanna do, but they're not exactly sure how to put it out there or what people will be receptive to. The fourth step is systems. This not so glamorous step is very important because like I said, a lot of the times we know what we want to offer, but we may not know the best way to present it to people. Systems include everything from your website to your payment processing to your email list, all of the things that are behind the scenes that really make your business thrive and really help you grow. It also really helps your day-to-day -day operations if you have your systems in place before your business grows too big and becomes overwhelming. During this system, you also outline things like automation, legal systems, planning and organization, outsourcing, so many things that you need to have lined up so that your business can really grow. And last up, everyone's favorite is profit. How are you gonna make your money? This step includes things like customer retention and reselling. It also includes things like hiring and management to figure out how to make your business grow without you going crazy. It also includes things like networking and building business relationships that can help you get to the next level. One last thing that I love to discuss is mindset systems because running a business is not easy. If you're going to really grow and thrive, you need to make sure that you have the correct mindset to help you get to the next level so that you don't stay stagnant and you don't get overwhelmed. Mindset systems are so important because in this business, you're going to need to make sure that you stay motivated and that you're fueling and feeding your mind so that you can really grow and hit the next level. All of this is just the tip of the iceberg compared to the things that we're gonna be discussing in the course. If you're interested, head over to my website, asiaonline.com, to get more information or to sign up today. 
In the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram at Asia Carp, and make sure you like this video and subscribe so that you can be notified when I drop another video. All right, guys, have a great day and a successful life. I will talk to you soon.